Mode Solutions is the Miracle Solutions Waveguide Design Environment. This video introduces Mode Solutions 2014-8 release. So the main feature for this release is a new Eigen Mode expansion, or the EME solver. This is a rigorous frequency domain solver for Maxwell's equations, and it's bidirectional, which is able to account for multiple reflections in the device. It's also very suitable for long devices, since the computational cost scales very well with the propagation distance. So to demonstrate how to use the new EME solver, we'll use an example based on the reference on the bottom. This is a silicon adiabatic taper covered by a low index polymer waveguide. The taper here serves as a spot size converter, which will allow us to efficiently couple light from a single mode waveguide here into a much larger uh, polymer waveguide. So this is the spot size converter simulation in mode solutions. Here I have the silicon taper as well as the overlapping uh, polymer waveguide on top. I've placed the EME solver over the entire device here, and the propagation direction will be in the X direction. So I can click on Edit uh, for the EME solver, and I can set the background index as well as, as well as the wavelength that I'm interested in. So most of the simulation properties are set under the EME Setup tab. Here I've defined three different cell groups. The cell groups 1 and 3 are for the input and output waveguide sections, so this region and this region. And since the geometry doesn't change in those regions, I only need to use one cell, or one interface, for my EME calculation. The middle cell group covers the entire taper region, which is 10 microns. And since the geometry actually changes here, I have to use more cells in order to resolve the tapering geometry and I can choose to display the cells here and this will actually show me where the modal calculations are. And I've also set up ports on each side of the EME solver so port 1 corresponds to the input port and port 2 corresponds to the output port. And here you can see that I'm tracking the fundamental mode on each port but you can also use the user select option to track other modes. And I've also added a profile monitor here, which is in the white plane. And this is going to allow me to see the change in the field profile as the silicon waveguide uh, mode gets converted slowly into the larger polymer mode. So I'm going to go ahead and run this simulation. And um, the job manager here will show you the current simulation progress. So it's going to start by calculating modes at each cross section, which is in the middle of each of these cells. And this tends to be the most time-consuming part of uh, the simulation. So the more cells or the more modes that you use, the longer the simulation is going to take. And this is why we should always start with uh, a small number of cells and modes, and only increase them when necessary. So once the modes are calculated, the scattering matrix for each cell are also computed. And this is done by calculating overlap integrals between each cell. So once the simulation finishes running, we're now in analysis mode. And you'll see this uh, EME analysis window uh, come up on the right side here. And here I can select the source that I want to use for my monitors, and then I can click on EME Propagate. So this will now propagate the fields bidirectionally. And you can see that um, this process is very quick. And once the, fin the fields finish propagating, I can visualize the results from the object tree for example, I can click on my profile monitor and look at the field profile. And this shows me how the light gets coupled from the silicon into the polymer. And um, if I want to change the length of the taper, all I have to do is change the group span here. The group span 2 corresponds to the taper. I can change it to any value I want, and I just have to re-propagate the fields. So you can see that uh, the EME solver is really ideal for scanning the lengths of tapers. And you can actually use this built-in propagation suite widget uh, to do a uh, very quick length scanning. So here I've selected group span 2 as my parameter, and this is going to be the length of my taper region. And I'm going to set the start and stop value to be 5 microns to 200 microns, and I'm going to scan this in 101 points. And then I can 
click on EME sweep. This is going to automatically change the groove span for me and um, it's going to track the results. So once this is done, I can visualize my sweep results. So I'll remove all the other terms here except for S12 and S12 is my transmission from port 1 to port 2. So I'm going to plot the absolute value of this squared. And this is now the transmission of this taper uh, from 5 microns to 200 microns. To try the new solver for 30 days, please go to www.lumerical.com slash download. For any technical questions, please contact support at lumerical.com. Please also feel free to connect with us to get more up-to-date information on new features and events.